Mark Rogers TV, the voice of college football, breaking down schedules in the ACC with 10 conference games, no divisions, Notre Dame included, and one non-conference game for most of the teams, and it's generally a group of five opponent. Duke does not have to play Clemson. That's basically an automatic loss for just about everybody, if not everyone in the ACC, and they don't have to play Miami, a team that they've defeated two consecutive years but would be a substantial underdog against. Like, comment, share the videos on social media. That way people outside of our uh, sphere of influence know that we exist. You can reach your college football friends and family with the news that Mark Rogers TV is here to talk college football each and every day. We go live almost every day, basically every day, deliver new content multiple times per day. Lock it in here for everything you need for the 2020 campaign. All right, Duke goes to Notre Dame to start out the fall on September 12th, coming up this Saturday. They've got about a 10% chance of winning, according to myself and the Football Power Index. I made my selections after or at my, before I looked at the Power Index, of course, not to influence my number. Boston College comes up at home, followed by Virginia Tech. Uh, the Duke Blue Devils are an underdog slightly against BC, substantially against Virginia Tech at 25%. I give them a little bit better chance than the power index. They go to Syracuse as a slight favorite and NC State as a slight favorite. I see uh, pretty much the opposite in regards to being a slight underdog in those games on the road. Charlotte is the non-conference affair. I'm not quite as... Uh, uh, high on a Duke certainty of victory at 62.38 for me, 83.17 for the power index. Then we've got a difficult assignment against North Carolina, 68.32 the power index. I give Duke a slightly better shot against the heels. You got Virginia on the road, a 50-50 proposition for the power index, but I'm thinking Virginia looks good at home against Duke at 73 to 27. Wake Forest, Georgia Tech, and Florida State. Duke a slight favorite according to the power index against Wake. I see it exactly the opposite at 44-56 uh, in Wake's favor at home. Actually, Wake Forest is going to be at Duke. Georgia Tech, Florida State conclude the season in Duke's uh, um, pretty substantial underdog in those games. Uh, surprisingly against Georgia Tech at, uh, in Atlanta and then the game in Tallahassee. So again, there's no Miami, no Clemson for Duke to have to deal with. They've got a non-conference game that they should win. How does it all add up? Well, according to the Football Power Index, Duke is supposed to win 5 of 11 games, 5 and 6 for the Power Index. I've got Duke at 3 and 8. There are the uh, results. They win against the Boston College in Week 2 at home. They go to Syracuse and win, and then take on Charlotte and win that non-conference game. So they go 2-8 and eight in the conference, so I'm not too favorable on Duke this season. David Cutcliffe, one of the fine coaches in America, has done a great job at Duke, but uh, they pretty much hit their ceiling a few years ago and leveled off and have declined to a certain extent since with a pretty weak 5-7 and seven finish in the ACC last year in 2019. Give us your record projection on Duke football. Of course, subscribe right here to Mark Rogers TV the voice of college football.